Okay, grade fours, at last we have made it to our conclusion paragraph. This is like the summarizing paragraph that just says, this is what I talked about, and hey, I think you should learn more about this topic in your own time or something like that. So we're gonna go over what types of things we need in our conclusion paragraph, and we're gonna write them out right now. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna summarize what's happened in the writing that we've already done. So in your book, you'll notice that you have three lines to write three summarizing sentences, one for each paragraph. Now, grade fours, we've only done two paragraphs, so you can just put an X through that last one, and we're just gonna focus on two sentences. The first one should summarize our paragraph about how our place looks. The second sentence should summarize something about why the place is important. You can use facts from your paragraph again, but you should not use the exact sentences from other paragraphs, so just be careful. So for example, I might want to write something like this. And for my importance paragraph, I might want to put something like this. Perfect. So now I have a summary sentence for both my two paragraphs I have up there. Mount Salem is a beautiful place with many things. It is so important, especially because we learn about God. Those were plaques that we had in our other two paragraphs, so we put them together. Finally, we're going to write a conclusion sentence for our conclusion paragraph. We have two options here. We can write about how do you feel about the topic, so how do you feel about the place you've researched, or you have a sentence about what you think the reader should do with this information. Should they continue to learn about the place? Should they travel to the place? What should they do now that they have all this new information? I'm going to give you an example of both. And if you want, you can also put both into your actual paragraph as well. And ta-da! So here are my two choices. This is a sentence about how I feel about my place, which is Mount Salem Christian School. I feel so grateful to attend Mount Salem Christian School. Or I could write a sentence about what everyone else should do. I think everyone should visit Mount Salem Christian School. If you even want, you can do both of those sentences and put them all together in your conclusion sentence. And there you have, when you place those together, you get a wonderful conclusion paragraph. Just make sure that you also make sure to indent first line. Using that first sentence, you're going to bring it in at least five spaces because that needs to be indented and then all the other ones start at the bottom just like your other paragraphs grade fours hope that's helpful bye bye